Tyler, please stop. Okay, we're gonna get going on science today. Um, it's a quick one again, so let's go ahead and head over to Google Classroom, please. Did it post then? Okay. So over on Google Classroom, if you scroll down to science, our new one is called Surviving in Space. Let's go ahead and open up that Google slide, please. I'm pretty sure it's just one again. So it should be nice and quick. We will continue. Well, this is a whole big long set of Google slides that were just broken up into individual pages of assignments. So we will go ahead and read through it again like we have been and then i'll give you guys some time to work it should be another quick science lesson yeah. we don't have a whole lot to go over for science this quarter that's why it's so drawn out and so short um we have social studies stuff to do yeah you could you already turned it in what the heck man did you because it doesn't say it's turned in well, it's a waste of my time, Bradford. <laughs> Why are you choosing to go right now when we're about to start a lesson? Wait 10 minutes while I read this and go over what you need to do, and then you can go to the bathroom. Okay, I'm going to read through this now, and then I will let you guys work on it. So, surviving in space, this is about if you do go to space eventually, these are the things that you need in space and how you get them. So, first, the things that humans need in space. Humans have basic needs in order to survive on Earth <clears throat> and in space. Having those needs met in space is pretty challenging. Astronauts must have oxygen, food, water, and rest. On Earth, it's pretty simple to get those needs met, right? But in space, it becomes a lot more complicated. Sorry, I need a drink. After all that reading. That's kind of hard to do in space. Exactly. That is really easy to do here. Drinking out of a water bottle is super easy here, but in space, not as easy. Um, maybe we'll go, I'll give you guys about 10 minutes to, um, work on this 10 to 15 minutes and then there is an astronaut who makes videos about how things are done in space so maybe we'll watch some of those because they're really cool um but first oxygen the gases in space cannot support human life worse yet is the fact that most of space contains no gases at all that is why scientists call space a vacuum spacecrafts need to supply astronauts with oxygen and nitrogen when an astronaut leaves the spacecraft, their space suit provides them with the oxygen and the nitrogen they need. So these spacecrafts and the space suits are built to provide the oxygen that's needed, right? It's not like they have to walk around the space station with oxygen tanks on their backs. It's supplied within the space station. Once you leave that, your oxygen comes from a tank that's attached to your space suit or however they do it. It might be a little bit different. I don't know how they actually do it. I'm not an astronaut, but um, I did not used to be one. No, going to space sounds absolutely terrifying. I'm good. No, thank you. Um, and then food. Humans need food. So when first, wait, when humans first traveled to space, they brought with them freeze dried food on their missions. Astronauts would add water to the food to eat it. NASA has improved their, um, their menu for astronauts, though. Scarlett, please stop. Allowing them to bring lots of different foods, such as soups, crackers, and fruits. Foods low in salt are important for astronauts because eating salty foods can bring on bone loss, which is another problem in space. Because remember, in space there's no gravity. There's no way to really work out your muscles and things like that. So you start to lose muscle mass and bone mass, which is not good. You need that when you get back to Earth or else your body is not as strong when you get back to Earth. And then finally, we have rest. Even on the most important space missions, the astronauts still need to rest their bodies. Sleeping on a spacecraft is a little more challenging because there's no sunset in space. Most astronauts wear blindfolds to block out the sun. Others, is, uh, Another issue is the lack of gravity. 
astronauts sleep in special sleeping bags that are strapped down to the floor. Because, you know, you can't just float around the space station and be asleep or else you're going to hit things. You could accidentally hit a button or you got to sleep in a specific spot so that you don't float away. There's a sleeping bag on the floor. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven questions for you to do on the bottom. You are going to need to draw your own circles again and create your own text boxes, it seems. Oh, no, there's text boxes this time. That's good. So number one, true and false, gravity allows astronauts to sleep in beds. So is there gravity in space? No. So answer that one accordingly. Number two, astronauts can eat whatever they like to now in space. Number three, most of the outer space, most of outer space has no gas. It's considered a vacuum. Number four, astronauts do not need to rest as much as we do. Number five, we have the same needs on Earth as we do in space. So true and false on those ones. And then we have number one, how do astronauts survive in space without oxygen? Try and use a complete sentence there. And number two, what foods do astronauts eat in space? And what did they used to eat? How did they used to eat food? So a couple of questions there. I'll put on a little bit of music and I want you guys to be working for about 10 minutes. So it is 1240. Um, I hope that you guys can finish that in 10 minutes by 12.50 and we will watch some cool YouTube videos of the space people. Not not aliens, the people in space, astronauts. Aliens. <laughs>